Well, fans of fall may be happy to hear that today is the autumnal equinox as fall will officially arrive just after four o'clock this afternoon. But even though we are going to be seeing a change in season today, the next couple of days are going to feel more like summer and even already this morning kind of feel the mugginess already hanging in the air as we're in the 60s across the board. The only exception Monticello as you've dipped to the upper 50s this morning. Meanwhile, it is 67 degrees right now in Lexington, so certainly a very warm start to the day and it's only going to get hotter from here. And yes, I do want to emphasize it is going to be hot over the next couple of days. In fact, we're tracking high temperatures in the upper 80s. Yesterday we came just one degree shy of 90 degrees. Hard to believe as we're closing out summer today and we're going to continue to hold on to well above average high temperatures even through next Wednesday as high temperatures slowly begin to dip back into the low to even mid 80s and our average high temperature 76 degrees for this mid point, mid to late stage, I should say, of September. Now, here at home across our Max Track Lab Doppler, we are not tracking any showers and thunderstorms. You can see a lone cell right now starting to dive towards I 65 in southern Indiana. That's not going to be affecting us as we go throughout the morning. In fact, any shower and storm coverage is going to be pretty sparse once again today. You can see looking out to the west, things are very quiet. Even out to the east, not too bad, with the exception of the remnants of Jose that continue to churn off of the southern portions of New England. You can see those clouds even extending as far west as western Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, all the showers are staying offshore, but still it's going to be a gusty day around Boston and even some areas into eastern Massachusetts as well. But as we go throughout our Friday back here in Kentucky, again, starting off this morning with some patchy dense fog. Once the sun is out, which will be out in full force today, it's going to be a quick warm up by lunchtime, already sitting in the low to even mid 80s. And again, we're going to max out today well into the 80s for this first day of fall. Our future track really painting the story of a mostly sunny afternoon. Again, there could be a stray shower that pops up very similar to yesterday. It's going to be pretty few and far between into the afternoon. And the weekend is looking very much the same as we'll continue to track sunny skies and hazy, hot and humid conditions. So if you do have plans to cheer on the cast tomorrow, be prepared for a hot, humid afternoon, especially as your tailgate. Be sure to stay hydrated as well. Even by kickoff at 730, we're still going to be sitting in the low 80s. And by the end of the game, hopefully as we're coming away with a win, temperatures will be sitting in the low 70s under clear skies. So a great night for some football over there at Kroger Field. Meanwhile, as we take a trip to the tropics, still tracking Hurricane Maria, which is a Category 3 hurricane this morning, it's starting to batter the Turks and Caicos with 125 uh, mile per hour sustained winds. The storm is going to slowly begin to turn northward as early as tonight, maintaining its strength and then gradually beginning to weaken as it moves through some slightly cooler waters in between the U.S. and Bermuda. It'll be a Category 1 hurricane, at least as expected by the National Hurricane Center, as it looks towards the start of the day on Tuesday, but still no threat to the U.S. at all as we go over the coming days. Meanwhile, back here at home, today's the first day of fall, but it's not going to feel like it. Hot and humid with a high of 88 with mostly sunny skies today. Tonight we're down to the mid 60s. More patchy fog may maybe around to start off your weekend. Otherwise, it's sunshine from start to finish. Also hot and humid both Saturday and Sunday. We'll continue to stay dry through the mid stages of the upcoming week. A few showers could be around on Thursday and that's going to cool us down big time. We finally found fall at the end of your eight day, Haley. Yes, we did. Finally, Jill, thanks.